Hi guys, so I am at work right now. I'm in the office. This is like one of the rare times. Maybe this is like the second time that I've been here by myself. So I thought I would vlog a little bit. Maybe this weekend I'll vlog. It's Friday. It's been one of those days. And I'm so glad that it's almost over. It's what time is it? 1.40 ish right now. We dismiss at 2.25 or work at a school and I'm um and then I'll stay a little bit to clean up and then go home so I'm gonna turn this around and show you my lunch okay so I don't get out until about 1 15 I don't get a break until then and so I'm just really using my time to relax and like I said it's I'm the only one in here, which is so rare, so I'm really enjoying it. Not that I don't like my coworkers, but it's just nice to be uh, to have some quiet sometimes. Um, so that is where my lunch is from, Calexico. Love that place. Many locations in Brooklyn. That I said that was so weird. Brooklyn, uh, and I get the Baja fish bowl, and so there's you get two pieces of fish, then you get this mango salsa black beans and rice, and it's so good. And then I'm also going to be doing this this is so to learn more about the community and our families we send a stuffed animal this year it was the skinny pig last year it was a bunny and it says sammy visits my home by the sparkle rainbows where the sparkle rainbows and it's my turn and i had so much trouble printing out the pictures at work so it took me all week and i have to write what i did and i took way too many pictures but um, I'll show you, um, if I remember, I'll show you what I wrote down and what I did with Sammy. So I'm going to finish my lunch and then work on that. Okay, so I finished it just in time. Well, not really. It's probably going to read it on Monday. Uh, but yeah, I think the kids will really like it and enjoy it. So hopefully they will. And I got to go back to the classroom. Hi guys. So... Well, I don't have to say hi because this is one video, but I, I sometimes forget. I just got home. It's about 3.45 and that's like 10, 15 more minutes than usual, which doesn't seem like a lot. But when it's Friday afternoon, you just want to kind of get home and traffic was crazy. And just people, I feel like I'm a pretty courteous driver, but people just go so crazy. Anyway. I'm home. It's Friday. I'm very happy. And I got the spot in front of my house, which for some reason that makes me feel so happy. If I don't get it or if Steve doesn't get it, I just kind of get like anxious about it. And I don't know why. I know it's silly. It's not like Brooklyn or Manhattan where you sometimes don't know where you're going to be parking and it's hard to find a spot. I shouldn't be complaining but it's just nice to be in the front I just like it and I'm gonna go inside I don't know what I'm gonna do I feel like taking a nap but it's like maybe I should stay awake and I'm gonna bring so I'll bring this home I, I forgot to show you I got the same thing for Steve that I ate but I added chicken to his for whatever reason I added chicken and I think it's because he asked for chicken or fish and in my mind I was ordering him a burrito a chicken bowl but I had ordered him a fish bowl with extra chicken I don't think he'll mind any meat is his type of meat so he'll be happy um yeah so I got home very happy lots of traffic I could go on and on about traffic and the best part is I got to park in front of the house which is awesome so hey I will guys. see you guys Hi. inside I am in the bedroom I am gonna take a little rest and we're supposed to go return a couple things at the mall and this is why you know i don't like to try stuff on but i do it because then i don't have to return stuff and online ordering is different i actually picked this up when i was at i have to return an old navy shirt um and i mistakenly had gotten a tall but i just it's a yellow polka dot shirt and i think i hauled it but it just doesn't fit right on me I actually do like the length but I don't know the top part I'm not so much into mandarin collars I have a few shirts like that but they're not my favorite I feel like they tickle my neck I know so weird <laughs> um but yeah before we do that and we're gonna go grocery shopping as well because we need for the next couple of weeks I like to 
I don't like to grocery shop every week, which I probably should, but I like to do it for the next two weeks. And then in between that, I think is a Costco trip. We don't go to Costco. We used to go to Costco like every two weeks, which is crazy. And we don't need to do that. So we go once a month. So we might go to Costco next weekend or the weekend after that. Uh, depending on when we need stuff like toilet paper and things because that's where I like to get it and I used to order that online but it's it is cheaper to get it at the store um, but I just want to show you my blackout curtains they're navy hopefully you can see that and I don't have it all the way around I could um, but we like to open it up uh, during the day so um, I like those I got those from Amazon and they black out like for being 430 and the sun is super bright I think it does a really good job and they weren't um, expensive either so good purchase I do have a pair of beige ones but I really uh, the darker ones I think work better in my opinion so yeah I will try to film and I'm going to rest now see you guys later okay so I'm at the mall and Steve is filming. Say hi, Steve. And I went to Sephora and tried on the Sephora, no, not the Sephora brand, the Bare Minerals Pro. I saw Emily Noel talking about it and saying that it was long wear. But I did the hand test and it already came off. So I'm not, whoa. Oh, okay. They were coming closer to my lips. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna see how long it lasts through eating. That's gonna be the ultimate test, and now I'm gonna go around shopping. So we're at this Colombian restaurant, and Steve turned away two bottles of water, and then he asked for tap water, and they brought us this thing right there. <laughs> Steve, does it taste like water? Does it? There's water in it. And then they brought us this, which is good. The sauces are spicy. So. I forgot to take a picture of the food before we started eating, but there's mine. It's the Colombian platter. Steve has a mix of mine, and what was yours? The grilled? Tilapia. Was it grilled? Tilapia, yeah. That looks, looks breaded. that's breaded. <laughs> and there's the ceviche, and look at this huge shrimp, or I forget what they call it. They call it something. Yeah, maybe. Um, we'll review after we finish eating. Okay, so that was the place that we ate. Uh, Punto Peruano? Peruano? Yeah. Punto Peruano. Punto. Oh, sorry. So, Magnifique. <laughs> should I turn this around? Hold on. So, ooh, I'm gonna turn the music down. So, we just finished eating and. We love Peruvian food. Would you say that? I like it. No, but I love Peruvian food and Steve just likes it. But just only really like the ceviche. Um, we love ceviche. We <laughs> I love ceviche. He loves ceviche. There you go. And we had the best one was probably in Miami because that's just where it's at. Miami was really good. Yeah. And oh boy, I don't think you're supposed to be doing this. Oh, cars are coming at me in both directions. Um, so that was the best one in my opinion was in Miami. Um, but in terms of Peruvian food, we've tried many places, but that one was, we probably would not go back. It wasn't, the food wasn't bad. It was okay, but like they brought us bottled water, which is fine. I would have taken it, but Steve was like, no, we don't want that. <laughs> we asked for water. We asked for water. Normally don't scam us. Normally restaurants bring you tap water. Or uh, they clarify, but I don't think this Right, is or bad. they clarify, the but they were it. right, so <laughs> then we then they brought us water or, no, then they brought us the blue drink and I was like, what is that? And we didn't send it back because we didn't want to send something back twice. Yes, this is what, is this what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not. No, but we, it was water, but they put like blue stuff in, blue powder, because the powder all went to the bottom, and fruit and stuff, and which I strawberries thought was cool. and lemons. Lemons. It was. It tasted like a really watered down Gatorade. It wasn't good. I like just plain good old tap water. Yeah. 
<laughs> but the food. With the mind controlling fluoride. <laughs> so we, uh, would you go back? No. What would you rate it? Mm, three. So that's average. You would go back. Average is not In my scale, average is you would you would go back if you. Yeah, I would go back, but it's like I would not. I'd go rather go to a four than a three. Better. And I'd rather go to a five than a four. Uh, that place. We honestly, we went there because nothing it's, wrong with average. Oh no, nothing wrong with average. Ninety-nine uh, percent of people are average. All right, calm and down. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we're the one percent. <laughs> so, um, wait, I lost my train of thought. Oh, we yeah, we only went there because it, my arms look so weird. Everything else closed. Everything else was closed. We, I napped too long, and yeah, well, but after work nap. Y'all. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Wow, Burger King is so many cars right now. Did you guys see that? That was a lot of cars, right? Yeah, yeah. a lot of cars. Anyway, so Just we're like going to go. Yeah, we were going to go grocery shopping, but I'm kind of too tired after that experience. I don't know. That kind of drained me. I get really embarrassed when, like, we have to plan something wrong and we have to tell somebody, no, that's not what we wanted. But Steve was like, we don't want. He was just so quick to dismiss him. No, we don't want that. First of all, why did it take him five minutes to get two bottles of water? No, so, yeah, we asked for water and he was like behind the counter, like getting icing the cups or I don't know, doing something really. I didn't know where. And we were the only table there. Another table was finishing up. And he comes back with two glasses and then two bottles of water and. As soon yeah. as I saw those bottles, I knew I was... Oh, as soon as he brought them over. I would have taken it, but Steve was like, nope, we don't want that water. Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to show them my lipstick, but I'm completely black on here. Kissing. Rubbed off. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm kind of disappointed. Every time I put the napkin to my lips, it um wiped off and... I don't know when Emily Noel was talking about it. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> no, she's still cool. Um, it worked for her. I mean, all our lip chemistries are different, right? Is that yeah. a thing? But I mean, she said that she ate it? a whole bare minerals. She uh, said that like she ate. That's why I got it because maybe if bare minerals paid us. It would have stayed longer too. Oh my goodness! No. Oh, she's never gonna know about this. Yeah. But anyway, um, it, yeah, I was really disappointed that it came off because... But if you paid us, it didn't come off. <laughs> and I, try, I tried a dark color on purpose because I feel like you could really notice it. At the, near the end of dinner, what did you say to me? It's not there anymore. <laughs> it's not there. Your lips look beautiful, though. <laughs> it was not there anymore. Anyway, so I'm probably going to call it a night and I'll try to film some tomorrow. I think we're going to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Aren't you so excited? Uh, yeah. No, you're going to see a movie on Sunday, you said. Uh, there's plenty of movies out there. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. It's the next day and I'm having my coffee. This is in my favorite Montreal cup that Steve got for me when he went to. It was a bachelor weekend. And um, this is from the Nespresso maker, the coffee. I got the, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the vanilla one. I think it's Venezio or something like that. Uh, I am having a bird or, yeah, bird in a basket or a hen in a basket. Um, it's just the toast uh, cut out the middle. And then I'm cooking some bacon. Should have cooked that first probably. It's not all for me. I'm going to have one piece. And then I like just just make extra for the dog or for anybody else who wants it. And I didn't share with you these gorgeous roses that are growing outside my front lawn. Now, I had moved into this house August of last year. So whatever was going to grow in the springtime, I did not know. We had peonies. Now we're having roses. We had uh, daffodils in the beginning. But look at these. I believe these are um, the variety are called Peace, if I looked it up correctly. It's this gorgeous pale yellow with a hint of pink at the edges. Just so pretty, just so gorgeous, and excited that we have these in the front. So I wanted to share that with you. Hi guys, so I am so excited to share what I'm going to show you next. 
and I have to spoil it a little bit. My sister, she, I texted her if she wants to come grocery shopping with us. She said yes, and then she was like, come downstairs because I have a present for you. And I was like, what? So she got me a planner and it's amazing. And I want to share with you the planner that I currently have. It's from the Happy Planner. Love this planner. It is so beautiful. The colors, the graphics, I just, I really like this. I saw it at Target last year. And my sister, um, I showed it to her and she really liked this and she has the same one, but it's going to end in July. And I want to share with you kind of what it looks like inside. So this is a little bit of the month and it has birthdays, monthly goals, notes, important dates, and just the colors. I love this. And then they go into the monthly overview and then here is the weekly and they even have fun stuff over here in the corner that you could draw your own things in or write stuff down and honestly I don't use this as a planner I use this more of as a journal to write down my feelings and if something important happened that day or I was sick or what I ate and I feel like writing things down I know we write in our cell phones all the time but writing things down with like a piece of on a piece of paper with a pen or a pencil it kind of releases if you are feeling any negative emotions if you're feeling angry or upset or you're mad at somebody it kind of releases that energy out from you and I feel a little bit better after writing in here and I also I mean I don't most of the time it's something negative but sometimes I write happy things in there like if we went somewhere or um, you know it's just I use it as this because with previous planners I was finding that it was kind of tiresome more of a chore to write it in my phone and in the planner that's what I, that's what ended up happening so I just I was like with this journal I'm going to use it as or with this planner I'm going to use it more as a journal and like I said it's going to expire in July and my sister was like you know I'm going to get a planner do you want one and she surprised me with this one and it's from the same brand the happy planner ta-da oh my goodness my friends look at this just so beautiful and it says be your own happy just so nice and can you see the size different oh my goodness so not as easily like um like you could take a traveling with like it's not so easily to carry it it is kind of heavy but i'm not going to focus on the negative i feel like i don't know why i did that it is so gorgeous um so this is how it opens up very similar to the smaller one and they added down here though currently and it has reading planning eating feeling a whole bunch of other things and then but can i just can we just stop and enjoy the colors and the graphics and the font just beautiful so here's the monthly overview and then their weekly is in this style so column style and I really am going to try and use this as a planner I really want to I I think I'm gonna try for for the rest of the year and see how that goes because this is an 18 month planner so it goes all the way into until December so I'm gonna try and see let's I just want to show you December and if there's any dates they write it down for you important dates to note for that month they write it down oh just to look at this makes me so happy now I am the type to like kind of be hard on myself if I mess up I want to erase it or I want to white it out but I'm gonna try to be a little less like that with this book and just enjoy it if I make a mistake I'll make a mistake and um, just I'm really excited to use this planner I I'm gonna try and use it as a planner like write down dates and just um, just use it as what it's meant for and of course I can put down my feelings um, or like if a special thing happened, I can write that stuff down. I don't want to limit myself so much, but I also do like having a place to write down my feelings. And I could get like a plain um, calendar for that since I have something so pretty uh, with this one. And she also gave me this sticker book that I believe is it's from the same company, but I believe it goes with this type 
this style of a planner. I don't know if it would work for the other smaller one because in the back here they have that same, the same book that, the big one. And it's just so pretty. And I want to show you some of them. Look at this. Just so, I mean, look how cute is that? It just makes me happy to see this. It's adorable. And then I just want to show you this one in the back. This is like for like partying or celebrations, birthdays. So I couldn't wait to share that with you. If you want me to go more in depth in this for this planner and the sticker books, I can do that. Or I thought even if if you want to see me how I plan for a month, uh, let me know about that. But yeah, super excited about this. I can't thank her enough this is just so nice she's so good with gifts and i am so excited to use this so i want to share that with you i'm gonna put the dishes away now and then uh take a shower and get ready to go out funny story before i start getting ready it's i'm just procrastinating it took me a while i was menu planning and it took me a while to do that for the next couple of weeks so i had found this metro card it's from uh it's the design is Jet, uh, that online company, and I saw this at the bottom of the escalator at the Man Manhattan side of the Staten Island Ferry, and I made Steve pick it up, and I figured, I mean, it's cute. Let's see if there's any money on there, and there was. It was like around $12 or something, and a few weeks before that, we had gone to the city, and I had lost my Metro card. There was way more money on it than the $12, but I was like that's nice um and it had expired in uh february so you can't really use this and normally i thought what happens is you put it in the machine to get a new one and you don't get this back but it gave it back my sister i had she goes to the city for work all the time so well she works in the city and so she's near she could go near a station and so she got me she brought this one back and she also got me we there was money on here so she gave me she got me a new card so boring um but i needed for a work thing on wednesday so have that and i just want to share with you that funny story and now i'm really gonna go get ready hi guys it's sam and i noticed that one hair was out of place so i gotta fix that it's a monday afternoon i just got home from work it's been like a half an hour actually the traffic was decent I have off tomorrow for Eid. That's a Muslim holiday. So schools in the city or I think in New York, I'm not sure exactly how that works. We have off tomorrow and super excited to have a day off on a Tuesday. Mondays and Fridays, yeah, those are awesome. But on Tuesday, yes. So um, the reason why I'm filming this video is because I wanna close out a weekend vlog that I started off. This, this past Friday I got all the way up until Saturday and I totally blanked on filming the rest of the evening I went to a Vietnamese restaurant and we went grocery shopping and I didn't get any of that and I forgot to film at all on Sunday which would have been cool because I made a quiche that would have been interesting to see right so I thought I would close it out today by showing you some Amazon stuff which I probably won't do a separate haul on that since I'm showing you here and the our garden update so i'm gonna do that so let's get started with the amazon stuff and this all these things were supposed to come this weekend and i got kept on getting messages it's delayed and it was delivered but it really wasn't i had to talk to amazon about it but i got everything today thank goodness first thing is zinc i swear by this stuff and that is and i think this is one of the main reasons why i haven't gotten sick all, uh, I got sick once that was really bad but I think it was just something that was unavoidable all of us were throwing up at, during midwinter break in February never happened to me before that kind of sickness so um, but colds and like just runny noses and coughing I've been able to avoid it thank goodness and I attributed it to zinc the one I'm currently on right now is the one from Costco this is the calcium citrate magnesium and zinc with vitamin D3 this I've been using for a very long time, but I just want to take the pure, zinc, pure zinc or just the zinc. I don't know if it's pure zinc. Um, next is the Fleur de Sel de Gu Rande. I don't know. 
um, but I use this on things like steak where the salt won't cook down to nothing and as opposed to let's say you're making a soup or you're making a stew where the salt disappears I like to uh, use this and you know I have I we had this fleur de sel not this one but another one some of you might know it it's the red one with I think the white top or the no the cork top that one's pretty popular and it's a little bit more expensive than Amazon I forgot what the brand is but I opened that nobody wanted to open it in the house I opened up finally when we moved here and I loved it I put it on things like steak or eggs where I don't want the salt to melt down and I have been loving it so I got those two more um, I'm using this one this exact one right now and it's almost gone so that's why I got that one next is oh so this is for my sister and she she loves ramen so do I and I was watching who was I watching Angela or yeah Angela Min Kim she's she's so funny she does a lot of cooking stuff and uh, funny stuff on her channel she doesn't make that many more she doesn't make that much that many videos anymore <laughs> it's been a long day so she showed a ramen pot and I'm like hey we like ramen my sister especially likes ramen so I thought I would get her this pot I don't know if the water boils faster or what but I thought this was a perfect size for her and this says King's Living uh, and 60, 60 centimeters don't know but super cute I love that it's kind of like this brush gold okay next is this oh no not OXO K basic splatter screen I know this is huge I think this is 14 inches and I got this because you know I'm getting all these kitchen stuff I hope it doesn't turn out to be like the spiralizer which I was so jazzed about and now it's sitting somewhere collecting dust I gotta bring it out again so this is we've been cooking a lot of steaks and burgers and just things fried chicken or fried stuff which is probably not the best but steaks we love steaks here so um, I thought I would get this because it would be less clean up and I got the bigger size. I didn't want to have like five of these which, um, I don't know, this one is really big. So hopefully it will be okay on medium sized pans. We've had a lot of splashing issues lately. And then the last thing from Amazon is this OXO Good Grips Garlic Peeler. I like this, pro I like this brand for products. So if you don't know what this is, you put your garlic in there. And then it takes off the skin, and we love garlic in the house. In this house, garlic is king here, and we just put it on everything. So it's been not. It's you know, it's one of those things. I'm hoping that this turns out to be like you never knew you needed this. So, for example, the yeah, sure, I could squeeze my lemon by hand, but I love my lemon slash lime squeezer. You know, the ones that you press down like this. I think those are amazing, and I love it. And the, um, I think this might be the same same brand. The grater, the thin, the, the microplane, that thing is so so good. I'm hoping that this becomes like one of those tools that I can't live without because I am so tired of taking the skin, peeling a garlic. So hopefully this works out. And now I'm going to, the next thing you should be seeing is the garden update. Okay, so here's the garden. Okay, so I am officially closing up the video now. I just wanted to end you end it with a few updates the garden it looks really good and green but things are not growing as i expected i thought the tomatoes would at least be green balls by now but there's only one huge beefsteak tomato and it's been like that forever so hopefully we'll get something fingers crossed i did use the splatter guard that works really well i am going to keep that the garlic Peeler, though I wasn't too impressed with it. I feel like if the skin of the garlic is too thick it won't work and if it doesn't work for that then I'm just probably gonna return it I'll give it maybe I used it several times this afternoon so I don't know um, I'm iffy about that 
And then, so I made um, adobo style ribs, and that's a Filipino dish. And you use soy sauce and vinegar, and the sauce came out really good, but the ribs, I wish I would have browned them first. So I'm gonna make a note in my recipe uh, book with on that specific recipe, I'll write down brown the ribs first, because I feel like, it, I don't know, there wasn't enough flavor to the ribs. So I'll do that next time. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this random vlog and let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.